Sasha Zverev has crossed the line. And yes, I am actually pronouncing his name the way that it should be pronounced because I am from Germany. And as a fellow German, I am even more disgusted about this behavior. this from a few angles. Number one, I am looking at this as a coach who regularly has to deal with children. Kids will see this and kids will do this. Kids have already done this because they've seen Daniel Medvedev do the exact same thing and actually Karolina Pliskova at some point too. Um, they think it's normal. They think it's okay. If there are no consequences. Kicking him out of that tournament from doubles and singles has been a consequence, but not in any way, shape or form measuring up to what he's done. Um, have I never cracked a racket? No, absolutely not. However, what I've never done is to turn the disgust about play or a perceived wrong decision into violence against somebody else. Never, never in a million years. So for him to go to the ref's chair after verbally abusing him several times, and I don't care if that ball was in or out, really don't care. You go to the ref's chair, crack your racket inches away from the foot of the ref, that is violence. Nothing else, period, violence. A suspension of several months, a fine of not just a couple of thousand dollars, and some mandatory anger management therapy is called for. Because if that doesn't happen, what are we gonna say to the junior players that are watching this? Oh yeah, it's totally cool to lose your ever-loving on the court in an utterly meaningless doubles match. Sasha Zverev is not a doubles player. He's playing with his best buddy and gets a call against him and reacts like that. Now, to come back to me being German, different perspective here a little bit. Germany has had great athletes, great tennis players who all represented Germany on the world stage. Classiest person ever on the planet, Steffi Graf. Boris Becker had some issues every now and then with his mental outbursts, but he's never turned that into violence. Germany really has hungered for another male tennis star. We've had Angelique Kerber, Andrea Petkovic, Sabina Lizicki, wonderful representatives. And for me, I can say I'm proud to be a German. You're playing for the country that I'm from. I'm proud to say that. That makes me embarrassed. That is terrible. And for him to continue to whine, oh, nobody likes me, after having moved from Germany to Monaco for fiscal reasons, when he was, what, 14, 15, 16, and making such a big brouhaha about winning the Olympics for Germany uh, last year. And he's been made the athlete, male athlete of the year last year. And as such, you have the duty to represent. And what are you representing right now? Being a tantrum ridden five-year-old. Actually, if my nephew behaved like that, I would have to say a word or two. So who's gonna step up and tell him that this is unacceptable? Number one, the ATP. Suspension, couple of months, money where it actually hurts, and mandatory anger management therapy. Companies that he works with, Adidas, Head, have we heard anything from them? It's still kind of early days, but something would have to be said there because he crossed the line. And what about his dad, his brother, and his doubles partner, who also is his best buddy, who travels around with him? When are they gonna step up? 
because this has not been the first time that he has been verbally abusive with the F word right, left, and center against refs. Um, not been the first time that he cracked rackets. And again, it's about kids seeing this, players seeing this, no consequences. And yes, I'm gonna go a step further. If somebody can lose his in a completely meaningless doubles match, because again, he's a singles player. He doesn't care about winning any tournaments and doubles. It's, I don't know why he even plays. But if he can lose everything that way and get violent, do we really, really not have to take a much closer look at the domestic violence allegations against him? I think that incident there added a whole different dimension to the allegations against him. If you can't control your emotions on the tennis court, are you really gonna be able to control them when it gets really, really personal? So what do you think? If you're a parent and you see this, do you want your kids to see this? If you're a coach, do you want your players to see this? Now, I know that there will be some people disagreeing with me. I already have read it on social media that the top players are under so much pressure. Really? Alexander Sverre was under pressure in a doubles match that he doesn't really care about anyway? Uh, no. Mm -mm. So yeah, if you disagree with me, feel free to comment. Um, don't make it personal about me. Make it personal about somebody who clearly has no idea how to control his emotions. Now, so Alexander Zverev, if you want people to like you, especially Germans to like you, you better come up with your own consequences. You better take action because you know what? The public in Germany right now had a hard time embracing you anyway because of tamper tantrums in the past, because of the allegation of domestic violence against you. And no verbal apology will change that. You now have to face the consequences and you better take actions that actually speak a lot louder than a meaningless apology on Twitter.